Do you make artworks on your computer? Would you like to share the process of you making those artworks with the rest of the world? Today, I'll show you how to do that fast and easy and the best for free. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. So in the past videos, I have talked about how to set up your DSLR, sound, light, how to make your first video on YouTube and how to edit them in simple steps in Adobe Premiere Pro. So today I would like to complete this picture by bringing the last piece of the puzzle that is how to record your screen no matter if you're using Mac or PC. It's very important to show the creative process. Your videos can be more engaging and you can also use it to produce tutorials to share it on Udemy, Skillshare and perhaps with Patreon you can make money so it just brings extra income streams to your already existing revenue. Today, I would like to compare two different softwares that works both on Mac and PC. One older one that is the OBS that is slightly more professional. You can do more tweaking, more settings. Another one that is super fast and easy. Recently, I have discovered it called Loom. Now you can visit those two websites and you can download the softwares completely for free and you can set it up under five minutes. I promise it's very, very easy. What you need to use Loom is a consistent, fast internet because what it does is to you know, gather the file, upload to their server and you can download it for free without watermarks. And OBS is different. OBS is directly saving to the desired folder of your choice on your local disks. So it's very different in terms of how they work, but they both achieve the same goal that is record your screen for free without any watermarks. I just realized I can't record Loom using Loom because once I hit Loom, it will just stop. So I have to use OBS to record Loom and use OBS to record itself as well. It's a bit funny, I'll show you. Let's jump into it. Hi everyone, I'm here. I'm on my laptop that is a MacBook Pro and I have installed the latest version OBS on Mac. And you can see I have the window open here. I just did a very simple setting. That is the layout of the workspace and the basic settings that I'm doing. And here there are two sources, the video and the display. As you can see, the video is this one and the display is the laptop screen. And you can add plenty of other options such as the image or VLC video source. But I think it's a bit too complicated. And for the moment, just this two is more than enough if you wanna capture you drawing and perhaps with a, a Adobe Photoshop and like this is perfect. You have some simple settings of audio here, but the majority of the settings is behind this button. Here you can see overwhelmingly amount of options and usually I just leave it to um, English and the theme dark and it's actually originally a streaming software so you can link to the Twitch but for the moment we are using it a screen recording software so we don't need to worry about this. And now let's go to the output. I leave it to simple. Later if you have more time you can dig it and go to the advanced setting but simple is good enough and you can judge it by yourself like for what you see if you think it's good enough or not and I set it to mp4. Later the file will be uh, saved in this browser that is under a movie that is automatic and default. The audio I set to 48 and a video to 1920 by 1080 which is a standard HD 16 by 9 video for YouTube and there are more advanced settings but I'm not gonna worry about it for now. It gives me a headache just by looking at it. So now let's move over to Loom. Okay, I'm gonna minimize this, otherwise it's just too confusing. Okay, so now we have a Loom open and Loom has a little different uh, feature. The camera is round, not rectangular. Majority of free screen recording softwares have this rectangular. So I really like this feature, having this round button that is uh, a lot more cute in my opinion. You can make it larger but I think it's oh, too, too much, so let's make it smaller. And I'll show you there are three options, screen plus cam, screen only, or cam only. Inside of this screen, you can choose uh, three options, a full screen, a certain window, for example, uh, uh, you can choose uh, this Chrome or Finder or Photoshop. 
or you can choose a custom size that is a certain area of your choice. If you have an external HD cam, you can use that as well. For example, if you are drawing someone in front of you, uh, like your model, your friend, you can turn the camera around and then when you are drawing, you can ask her questions or you know, interact with your model and just have fun. I think it could be a very uh, interesting video to make. And if you have a different microphone, like a lavalier or a different preferred mic, you can always choose a different source. Right now, I don't have any, so I just leave it to default. You need internet for it to work. So the internet speed is here, indicating that it's fast. And now you have the option to record different um, size video, but I just choose 1080p, which is standard for YouTube. And if I hit recording, it will record, start recording. And it will tell me in three, two, one, and it will, yes, it will record. Now let's just go to Photoshop so I can show you. Now I have two screen recording softwares open simultaneously and two web browsers and this um, Photoshop as well. So there are plenty of things going on in the backstage and I think my computer is uh, heating a little bit. That is totally normal. I'll just show you that using a very small laptop, uh, it won't crash. And I'm just going to just show you how it's, there is a slight delay, but I'm not overly worried about it because I think a lot to do with I have two screen recording softwares open at the same time. If not, I think it shouldn't have any delay. Yeah, there is a small lag. Now I click this uh, loom icon and it will automatically uh, upload this video I just made to their server. And then from there, you can browse, trim and download. You can also share it here with your friends. But usually I download it to my local disk so I can use it to um, edit with the rest of the movies in Premiere Pro. Now it's ready to download. Now it's here. You can see that it works. Now let's go back to OBS. That is the workhorse who had been doing all the work the whole time. So the OBS is back. If I hit stop recording, the file will automatically be saved and sent to the, the movie folder here. As you can see, I have done some tests here. And now this is the file that is being generated, the MP4. And now if I stop, it will generate a file. Now you have seen both uh, softwares, OBS versus Loom. I don't know which one is your preferred, but I think if you want something with more control, then OBS definitely is the one. But if you want something simple, easy, and you can immediately share it without even editing, perhaps you are in a hurry, you want to share something with um, uh, people on your Patreon or maybe your students, then I think perhaps Loom is better for you. The best is you download both and if you are traveling, you don't have internet access, use OBS. And when you are doing something fast and you have good internet and then use Loom, you can have the best of both worlds. So I hope my video have helped you. Click like and leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you have not yet. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.